Well, good evening. How's everybody doing tonight? We're going to paint a little bit here as we get started. I'm going to share this from one Facebook page to another. this one white for me just because we like to make sure that everything's got a nice white base so uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna paint this tonight what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put um, a silver bling on this just because I like the silver look I'm gonna let that dry I have some stencils um, just for my little hobby page, I have a SDR Designs, and then I have a mama bear and my little bears to put under it for my kiddos. So I'm gonna put those down um, on the silver, and then we're gonna paint it pink. So we're gonna go silver bling. Then we're gonna use piss off pink, is that's the actual color name. And then um, after I paint it pink, then I'm gonna strip pantyhose down over it and I'm gonna paint black on top of it so we got a lot going on <clears throat> let's get this started make sure all of my fans are working everything's ready to go so um I'm Sonia I am just outside of San Antonio Texas so we are central time here let's see it's about 9 30 here um and we're gonna we're gonna paint some Silver on this cup. So if you're joining, give me a shout. Let me know who you are, where you're watching from, and hopefully this cup turns out as cool as I want it to. Um, I'll let you all know that I am still learning all this fun, and by no means am I a pro. So if you have questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, I've been painting now for, I'm going to say a good six to eight months off and on. Um, lately, I've been getting better at it, but again, I'm not great. Um, just so you know, my paint is all a Tamco product. That's TamcoPaint.com um, before anybody asks. And yes, I do have ventilation behind me. Um, to do my paint, I don't, you know, I'm good because I've got some pretty nice fans. You'll hear my air compressor kick on as well. So here we go. We're painting this silver. I'm going to have to turn you because I like to paint into my vent. So here we go. in here watching tonight um, say hi if you have questions go ahead and give me a shout I'm just using my little spray gun tonight I'm gonna put some silver bling down on the cup. just started with a basic 30 ounce stainless cup from um, from Walmart um, did all my prep work 
you know, I wipe it down, make sure it's nice and clean. Then I put it in the blast cabinet, sandblast it. You can also just sand it. I just base coated this bad boy, a Tamco product. Um, it's silver bling. It's just gonna be my base coat. That's gonna dry just a minute. While that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and clean out my paint gun. Um, you will hear my air compressor hum in the background. So if you have questions, let me know. UK world say the E word, use the epoxy and the G word, the glitters. Um, I had to step away from that. One, because it just took too long for uh, all that epoxy to dry and to spin and to do what I needed it to do right to cure. But my daughter loves to help me. And, um, and she was helping me in the garage the one night and she had a reaction. She got a rash of her arm and I just away from the epoxy and find another way to customize cups. Um, sorry, I'm cleaning my gun out as I'm talking to you all. So I had to find another way. down. My design goes at an angle intentionally so it doesn't ever have to be perfect when I lay it down. I do that purposefully. Illinois. You have an aunt in San Antonio. All right. So I'm just putting my stencil down here y'all real fast. Just kind of wanted to hop on tonight. Uh, painting some folks have asked me, they're like, how do you do it? Why do you do it? Um, how difficult is it? I really, I really enjoy it. So Denise, you're in Illinois. Well, welcome. Welcome from Illinois. Who else do we have? What, what other states, how many states do we have represented here? Give me a sec, I'll stay with you guys. 
Okay. So I will, when I am all done, I will put a clear coat on this. Um, I, what you're seeing me spray, that's how I do the whole thing. I can completely do this cup tonight um, if I want to finish it tonight. Um, more than likely I'll paint it tonight and clear coat it tomorrow. Um, but I'm part of the 2K group that likes to clear coat. Um, I just don't use epoxy anymore because of my daughter having a reaction. Um, and I found this way to customize my tumblers. And honestly, it's a heck of a lot faster for me. So Oklahoma, Canada. I feel like I'm famous now. I'm in Canada on Facebook Live. This stencil is giving me a little bit of a challenge. Hold on, guys. It wants to do this tiny little detail piece under my mama bear that wants to come off the... I will show you, Denise. Give me one second. It's a Tampco product. Do I have any of my 2Kers in this group? It is a high impact clear. I'm so sorry, this stencil is throwing a complete fit. Sometimes when I'm in this group, <laughs> you're the farthest spot on the map. See my little stencil? I wanted to literally peel off the page. So I'm going to lay it back down here real quick. I promise y'all I'm moving as fast as I can here tonight. You know, everything always goes perfectly smooth. And then you're like, oh, let's do a Facebook Live. part of the stencil off because it really is being a pain. Just kidding. Almost have it. I say that as in jest. Just kidding. So, um, I honestly am not the type of person that's going to be like, oh, don't use epoxy. Oh, use this method. Y'all use whatever you want to use. Um, It's almost impossible for you to, what was that Kylie? Sorry, hold on. To not get glitter. So you can spray the clear over glitter. I have had people um, that I know successfully do that. You just gotta make sure your glitter is down and however you're applying your glitter, it's not gonna go when the air hits it. Swear, y'all. If I can get this stencil to stay on the, so when I went to peel the, almost, almost. When I went to peel the back off this, when I went to transfer it onto my transfer tape, I wanted to stick to me instead of the transfer tape. Do you know what I'm gonna do? modifying because I didn't really like this little part anyways. So the next time I do this, okay so on the front of my cup I have my SDR designs. It's just my little hobby name. Um, I just do this really just for fun. Just for something to do. Get in my garage and paint. Be creative. We're gonna put my mama bear down. My paint, I, it, for those of you that are just joining, um, this cup was white when I started with it tonight. I just base coated it a silver bling. I'm now putting the mama bear down. 
mama bears on it. I'm gonna put my kiddo bears on here. I got my little itty bitty cub bears that I wanna put on it below. And then I'm gonna put my kids names. We're gonna do this pretty quickly. Shouldn't take too long. Cubs are going down. Yeah, I do. I do have a Cricut. That is what I used, um, Kylie, to cut this all out. Um, so my Cricut is right inside my garage um, in the office my husband uses for his, uh, for his stuff. So I've got my Cricut. So that's what I cut my kids' names out. I cut my little bears out. Um, So that's what I used to cut everything out as my Cricut and then um, yeah, I just come out here and apply it. One kid name down. Alright, so I got Mama Bear, I got my two little Cub Bears. They're supposed to be a little fancy line here with a heart, but that was being a pain. So I gotta find another way to do that. I'll figure it out later. Not worried about it. We're gonna change this up on the fly. Um, these are down. So now what you're gonna watch me do is we're gonna lay what is called Kiss Off Pink. That is the color. Um, and someone was asking, my, high, my clear coat that I use, it's a Tamco clear. This is Tamco Pink. Um, you can check them out. Uh, we're gonna and all my paints everything you're seeing are Tamco products. So if anybody's asking um, this pink I Have seen painted many times. I absolutely love it. This is the first cup. I'm painting in pink So we're just gonna make sure my bear is down I don't want any big bubbles. We're gonna do some light coats. Here we go Meet piss off pink probably like because I have a fan back here so I am painting piss off pink over top of so I base coated my husband base coated the cup of white for me it was called blizzard of Oz and then tonight um, I started with a silver bling that I painted on it and um, I'm moving it sorry and I move it away from the camera because I want it in front of my fan that sucks all of the fumes and stuff out of my garage so we painted it under the box and then I painted um, silver blue.
door is like open for the vent to go out um, and so this paint I'm okay just because of the way I have it set up I've worked with some of the folks that I've learned from and they've kind of taught me how to vent everything when I go to clear coat it I have to use a respirator so no worries mama I'll take care of myself um, well Denise what are you doing for cups what kind of cups are you making and I'll be honest with y'all guys, um, don't sell yourself short with the expense because a lot of times we look at the cost just to make a cup and most of us do it because it's a craft for us. Um, and so we end up selling ourselves short and we forget that there's, there's time involved. Like you took time out of your schedule, your regular routine, while it might be fun, um, you know, don't sell yourself short. I know a lot of people, when they start painting these cups, my cups would be extremely cheap. And I do that, oh shoot, I just shot myself with water. I have to backwash the gun. Um, when I go to change colors, so I'm gonna go to a black here. I have to make sure my gun is completely empty. doing um, Denise really is what's gonna dictate your price right if you're doing multiple colors or if you're doing multiple um, different items you know like if I was to throw flake on this uh, would you know then it would probably be more so I'm just gonna lay these pantyhose down over this gorgeous pinkness don't mind the purple that you're seeing 
Well, thank you. I might have to step away from this just for a, well, maybe not, for a hot second. So, give me one second. tape this just because I don't want it to move when I start painting. I am going to put black on top of this. This color, I do not make up the names <laughs> of the paint. This is called Murdered Out Black. My husband absolutely loves this black. Um, I'll show it to you. This was one he painted just base coated last night. He's getting ready to do something with this hydro flask. Not sure what he has in mind. But he's pretty darn good at this. And then um, this is a rose gold. I really like this rose gold. What kind of paint do I use? I use Tamco. Um, as the groups that I follow will tell you, um, the best in the business. Um, so, Tamco. They have custom colors. So, their paint, um, once you get all set up, I'll be honest with you, I've used a lot of different brands. It really is the best in the business. But there's no epoxy on this, there's no glitter. Um, I will throw flake from time to time. I'm not the best at throwing flake. I'm getting better at it. Um, but, all right, so we put these pantyhose on. Hold on one second. I gotta make sure I don't have this too tight. If I have this too tight where the cup kind of bends in the body, it will pull, um, the pantyhose pull away from it. And I can see this happening as I'm looking at it. I have them too tight which tells me I'm gonna have a problem. There we go. I need it to lay down on the pantyhose. So the pantyhose are gonna give me a design. Here we go. So come on in, say hi, tell me where you're from. If you've got questions, let me know. I'm using a paint gun. I got my air compressor you'll hear from time to time in the back. Um, and this is my top layer of paint. I'm gonna move it out just a little bit, y'all. Um, Cause like I said, I like to shoot into the bed. frequently um, to ask him questions and that's where I've learned a lot um, I actually joined some of the Tampco groups on Facebook and a lot of people ask some amazing questions in there now that group will talk a lot about painting um, way above my understanding so I have to really pay attention but the um, the owner of the company will do live tech Thursday nights and Tammy's phenomenal and I've learned a lot just listening to her speak about her products and how to mix things and so it's pretty cool so I am so this is my top coat of paint it is called murdered out black so the cup was a 30 ounce from Walmart we put it in we wiped it down we sand blasted it my husband helps me um, he prepped the cup for me so it was 
wipe down, degreaser, wipe it down, sandblast it. We put Top Dog Adhesion Promoter on it. And then he base coated it white for me. So when I started tonight, I started with silver bling. Then I put down a stencil. Then we painted it piss off pink. Then I stripped this stocking down over it for the design. And now I'm painting it murdered out black. Yeah, that is the one but um this does take space. So since I'm not doing epoxy anymore or any of that stuff, I mean I used to do shirts, I used to do a whole bunch of stuff. I kind of just shift it out into the garage and um just paint out here. If I need to cut something, I'll cut it on my cricket and then make sure it's like everything I had tonight. And there's my air compressor. forget just because squirrel and I'm gone. Um, I have to clean my gun immediately as soon as I'm done with the color because when I start transferring between colors I don't want it, you know the last color to be in my paint gun. So I just gotta clean it out make sure it's right. When I'm done tonight I'll take the whole thing apart. It's pretty easy to do. I can actually show you here in a little bit how I do it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. This is how I've learned. I watch Randy out in Washington State all the time. Um, like I said, I gotta just make sure. I'm gonna 
to call it good for the moment. Um, so I'm waiting for this to dry. Someone asked if I work with glitter. I don't work with glitter. I work with flake. So it's metal flake um, because I can shoot that through. I think we all admire Randy. This is my purple. This raspberry I want to try. <laughs> Except for I'm not drinking Kraken tonight. Um, where is my beverage of choice? Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. I drink iced tea. I don't drink Kraken. Um, <laughs> and then let's see what other flakes do I have. Oh, this is beautiful. This is Showstopper Chrome. It is absolutely gorgeous. And then my husband was testing a cup. We'll, we'll try these cups, we'll paint them. Um, and then we don't like it or it doesn't go the way we want, it goes right back in the blast cabinet. So this one, um, I'm gonna tilt the, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's like a copper, it's gorgeous. We threw it on, it's so flake, it's a metal flake. Um, literally, it's my substitute to glitter. Okay, I don't know if you can see it like go in there. Um, I will mix that in a inner coat um, product and spray it out of a bigger gun because this tip won't clog with that flake. So you mix up the liquid, you put the flake in it to the consistency or the color that you want, and then you, yeah, it kind of looks like that. It's like I don't want to say it's like glitter, but it's essentially my version of it. Um, but you have to have a bigger nozzle to be able to shoot it through. Otherwise, the flake will clog the smaller guns, and that's not good. So my flake, um, I get it from Sparkle. I don't know if it's backwards for you guys or not. Sparkle EFS Flake. This is You can just look this person up. The guy that owns this, I think his name is Mark Tyler. He's on Facebook. Um, Proudly made in the USA. Um, if I want to do a cup, less than an hour in one night, if I want to. Um, Y'all saw me paint. Now, like I said earlier, this cup was base coated and prepped for me by my husband. He prepped it last night um, because he knew I wanted to try this one. As a buddy of his was asking if I could make something for his wife. So I was like, yeah, I'll give it a shot and see what I got. Um, so I can do a cup from start to finish. If I'm serious about it, I can do it. Um, I painted a wine cup the other night. Um, 30 minutes, I was done painting the cup. And then I threw my high impact clear on it. And I was it sits for 30 minutes and then it's done. So there is the cup I took the stockings off of it so it's that black nope I don't use a heat gun nope so that's what it looks like right now with the piss off pink and the black stocking effect and I'm gonna whoops hold on guys let me see if I can pull my little fun logo that I created just because I can. Go ahead and pull this for you. If I wanted to, and if people want to, I can, I could probably throw my clear tonight if you want to see that. Y'all just tell me. I don't know if something you want to see and then I can finish this cup it would be painted from start to finish tonight or I can do that tomorrow I know um, Randy does tutor tutorials I can't talk and pull or a mask off my cup at the same time give me one second Gonna 
what are what am I in right now I am like state what am I standing in um, I am in my garage and I have I can show you give me one second when I'm not peeling the aura mask I can show you I have a pop-up booth that I am and my little guy my little helper my little buddy is coming out to say hi what you got bud yeah he's always dancing and helping me um so I'm hi everybody can you please say hi in the comments <laughs> um so that's my little buddy he's always out here helping me in the garage um so i'm in in the garage um i have a pop-up tent that i bought it's like a spray booth tent and then i have on my table that a really good friend of my husband and i is built a, a little workstation table for me and that's what I actually paint on. I've got a vent. <laughs> People are saying hi, Marcus. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Check out my oh my goodness, yes, this young man has a YouTube channel. Woo, don't, I think every child oh, has a Marcus YouTube Mysteries. channel. Yes, it's Marcus Mysteries. Okay, so there you can see um, that's my silver bling that you're seeing. Everybody's saying hi. Yeah, um, and then I am starting to pull the bears off the other side. So I have somebody that's interested in the bears, so that's why I did that on the other side. If I'm doing a cup just for the heck of it or to try it, I'll do it for me or for one of my kids or for my husband. So that way, if something goes wrong. Yeah, like the comment to subscribe, yeah. He's always telling people, Marcus Mysteries, like and subscribe and smash the bell button. And I'm like, who are you? You're seven years old. He's been making more YouTube channels than anything since they have been at home. Since like, they had spring break March, the week of like March 9th. And then he's just been making YouTube channels while he does his online schooling, but. So my bears are coming out. Well, my mama bears. Oh, thanks guys. Wait, what? What are you doing? Alright, so I'm trying to sometimes it's just easier for me to use my nail to pick up the stencil. So now I'm just peeling my kiddo's names off under the bear. So just hang in there with me a minute. this doesn't really take long or and show you how I do that and what I use or I can show you my setup and answer any questions you have about my setup and the guns I use and where I've learned things and stuff like that so tell me what you're interested in I'm just happy that I had over a hundred people on here tonight I think it was up to like 140 something tonight What kind of clear do I use? I use, so I can answer that real quickly. Um, I'm gonna sit this on top of my flake so you see it. It's, um, sorry it's not a little higher. It's Tamco, both. <laughs> well, if you guys are willing to stay on with me, I will finish this cup tonight. Um, I'll make a deal with you. Just keep asking questions. I'll answer them as I see them. Um, so this is, there is no epoxy, no glitter here. Everything you're seeing tonight was painted. Um, so there's my two mama, my mama bear, my two kiddo bears, Sierra and Marcus, my son and daughter, my SDR designs on the back side. Set up, please. All right. Um, so I'm gonna throw this cup right back down. I got some dust 
Hold on, let me wipe it off real quick. I'm gonna put this back. Tamco, uh, Tamco paint, um, they're out of Virginia, they're phenomenal. So this comes as a two part that I have to mix um, and spray it. Once I spray that, within 30 minutes of me finishing, it will be dry and completely done. Um, so for those of you that were asking about my setup, give me one second to throw some things away. Um, I'm going to pick up my iPad hanging tight. Okay, so I'm in my garage, well, in the garage, um, and I have this, I'm kind of tall, so I have to hook this up, but it's just a spray shelter that I purchased from Amazon. Amazon is my best friend. Um, and so my best friend because I get more plushies. He gets all the toys from Amazon. Um, so I've got my setup. You can see the box behind. That's the really strong vent that I have going. And that vent, um, you can't see it, but it actually has but like I a dryer. I have like there. a I have like a dryer vent that runs from that box down. I can them under there. No, I'm good, baby. And out my out my door. Um, I am just painting on a little turntable, paper towel holder, pool noodle. I just drop it down on top of it. So that's pretty much it for. The, the door, as my son would say, Marcus would say. Um, is there anything else on this setup that you have a question about? Marcus, I'm gonna probably spray my um, clear coat, so the stinky stuff, so you're gonna have to go inside because you don't have a respirator. I will chase my son inside when I do this. Um, so I always paint in front of that vent that you saw. All right. at all um, I shared with the group earlier I used to I used to spin I had the rotisserie um, turners and I had about a eight or nine run of turners but my daughter who's in sixth grade likes to help me and of course and so she was out in the garage helping me and she had a reaction she ended up with like a rash the whole way up both arms and it wasn't cool and scared her to death and she she typically would like being out here with me to be honest with you she doesn't know i'm out here tonight i'm surprised she, she heard the air compressor she didn't come out um and so i just didn't want to use the epoxy anymore i'm just making sure my gun's completely cleaned out when I see it. Tamco, it's a 30 minute dry time. And I'm gonna move y'all just a smidge because I gotta make sure that I don't have an open one. Yep, see I have an open one back here. This is my new one. Um, it's a high impact clear. I absolutely love it. Um, I mix it four to one. Move you back here a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start doing what I do. Um, so this cup we started with, I see people are coming in and out, a 30 ounce stainless steel cup from Walmart. We cleaned it, sandblasted it, base coated it white. My husband did all of that. Um, it was ready for me to paint tonight. We then painted the cup silver bling. I put the stencils down on it, my bears, and my little logo just for my hobby that I do. Um, and then I painted over top of that stencil, this piss off pink, it's all Tamco products, or Tamco, I always want to pee in there, I don't know why, Tamco, not Tamp, Tamco. Um, and then I stripped um, stockings down over it, 
painted it black and that's the black design you see on it. So that's how I got where I am right now. What are you doing, bud? I'm just getting started mixing. I'm gonna put my respirator on. You need to go inside. Um, let me just quickly take my watch off. Um, I use a wax and degreaser. Uh, Tamco has a really good product. Um, I mean, you can get it most automotive stores, wherever. Um, I'm gonna mix this because I've gotten pretty good at mixing it pretty quickly and then right before I throw it, I'll grab my respirator. Give me one second. Um, so yeah, I wipe it down. I make sure it's nice and clean. So I'm just mixing the hardener. I'm gonna measure it all out here. Yeah, of course. Yes, it does. Um, you'll see the shine start to come as I spray it in just a minute. You know, other options, this is a great alternative. I like this alternative because it's faster for me. Um, from start to finish, this cup was done painted and will be clear coated tonight. Sorry, I have to watch the scale to make sure I don't mess up this mixing. And most of it has to be hand washed because it's a double walled insulated um, tumbler. You can't really put, just because it's double walled, you can't put that in the dishwasher. So they all have to be hand washed. Um, I am in my spray booth. I have a pop up tent I can show you all. I showed the group a little earlier. I can show it to you when I'm done clear coating. Um, so keep the questions coming in what I'm going to do is I'll come back and answer those safety questions as soon as I'm done throwing this I have to put my respirator on to spray it this is probably the worst part of the whole smelling situation so let me just put my respirator on and I can't really answer questions um, through the respirator um, but when I'm all all done I'll come back and answer all the questions you have. So don't hesitate. I'll be as honest as I can be with you. I, you know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, you know, if you like doing epoxy, you do you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, not in that business. Ooh, exploded. That is not good. Ooh.
for my setup. My husband's in the garage. I don't know if I really want to give a number. Um, I think piecemealed a lot of it together. So the gun that you saw me use, and I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning that because with the stuff that was in it, I can't let it sit. Um, so some of you wanted to know about the gun, so you'll see me take it apart here in a minute. I'm going to move the cup out the way. Um, so I have a spray boom. I've got three or four spray guns that I use. Really, I only use two on a routine basis. The one you're seeing me paint with. And then I have a bigger gun that I use to mix and to throw the flake. Because the flake, I don't want it getting stuck in this small nozzle. So the other gun has a larger nozzle.
it's completely done. So, I just got this cleaner that I Carver Freight. Um, a lot of times when I'm cleaning, I water first and then um, 11.29, that's East Coast. So, I got 20 more minutes. Okay, South Carolina. in there it'll clog the, the tubes and won't shoot and so we've gone through all this troubleshooting my husband's really good at it he's better at it than me good luck with the sandblaster you guys have any other questions for me before I sign off I gotta go help sandblast and prep some more cups Most of the 
something I didn't know because I used to do the epoxy, but a lot of this type of product is what, yeah, so Mary, if you've watched Randy, absolutely. Um, the 2K or the clear coat, right, that's really what they use to seal the inside of like aluminum containers that have liquid in it so that it doesn't come out of the cracks, right? So it's what's inside a lot of those containers. I never knew. Y'all have a great night. Be safe out there.